All right, what we are working on right now is working on right to left passing on this side, on the far side over there with Emily and Kyle, they're working on left to right passing. What we're focusing on is going from our right hip to our midline. We'll start the ball at the right hip and finish at the midline. Keeping the shoulders down, keeping the wrist locked, keeping the ball away from the body. As a coach, you're looking for the shoulders to be tilted towards the target and taking the ball almost at the midline, but again, you're coming from the hip. I think there are a lot of good ways to teach, teach passing. I think this is one really good way. The, the angle passing is good. I think you should, you should teach the, your kids to pass the way you, you can teach it the best. We're just trying to block the ball to the target. Tilting the shoulder, dropping the, dropping the shoulder to the target. Rotate. Not only being able to pass left to right, but also being able to pass right to left. And I think most passers growing up pass the majority of the balls left to right. But it's just like being able to dribble left hand or dribble right handed. I compared passing right to left just like being able to dribble the ball with your left hand if you're a right handed basketball player. You've got to be able to, do, to go both ways. All right, rotate. Okay, let's angle. Let's angle the boxes this time. All right. Now, what we're doing here, this is working on when we, when we clear out the angle that we're going to have when we clear out to pass the ball. When you're training your passers to pass off a box, it is important that, they, that you train to pass every single angle that they're going to possibly see in a match situation. But I love training to pass off a box just because you can get so many contacts in in such a little period of time. And it allows the passer just to focus on the arms, keeping their head still. If you look at their eyes right now, they have really good head discipline. They're not following the ball. They're keeping their eyes glued on their arms and trusting, the, the, trusting their arms to put the ball where it's supposed to go. I compare this if you're hitting a golf ball or hitting a basketball. You're not going to follow the ball. You're going to keep your head down and watch the ball hit the bat or the golf club. Rotate. If you notice, some of the girls are wearing, most of the girls are wearing the black passing bands. These are good because I like them because they give you really good feedback on whether or not you're contacting the ball where it's supposed to be contacted. We like the ball to be contacted on the bands. If the ball's being contacted above the bands, then you know you're too close to the ball. They also give a little bit of a cushion to the ball. If you're interested, and my brother Steve sells them at Ball State, and I'm sure he'd be happy to, happy to sell you some. I'm sure you, if you get on the Ball State website and contact him, he, he can get a pair to you. But I do think they're very beneficial. And rotate, rotate. And rotate. All right, spin the box the other way. Here we go. This is probably the toughest angle to pass when the ball is inside down the middle of the court and you're drop stepping. 
this is not not a real comfortable uh, angle to pass at. It's one that needs to be trained a lot for your players to become comfortable. And switch. Here we go. Sorry. Heads up. Oh. Yeah, players can run this drill. This is easy. Nice job, girl. As a coach, again, you're looking for the, you're the players to have their arms locked out, eyes down on the arms, staying disciplined. The shoulders staying down, locking the ball to the target. This is also a drill your players can run this drill as well. You could easily have a player up here on the box tossing, although the toss is very critical that you put it in a place where they have good where they can keep away from the ball, and develop good passing mechanics and platform. Rotate! And all right, let's let's uh, get rid of those boxes right there. Everybody's on this side over here. Cat, you might need to go get that scoreboard, get it set up for the next drill. Okay, let's have uh, two passers. Let's have four groups of two. Four groups of two. Let's go, Blair. Show us how it's done. All right, we're going to work on footwork patterns. This is we call this step and spread. Uh, the feet, so we're going to step one direction, then spread and contact the ball. We're going to start off going to the sideline, okay? Here we go. Step. Yeah, we're... Let's go. Uh, well, this alternates. Fine. Go. Step and spread. Bring the ball back. Drop the shoulder. Again, we're going from the hip Good. to the target. We want these balls past about antenna height is, is the is our goal. Don't want the ball pass too high. When, it, when we want to keep a good, keep it up. a good rhythm for the setter. From pass to set, about antenna height. You we're still looking at their head discipline. The girls should not have to follow the ball. They should trust that their arms are going to get the ball to target. Keep it up, girl. Good. Rotate in a square. You guys are over there. This way. There we go. When they're moving to their right, the right foot should be slightly back. When they're moving to their left on that side, the left foot is slightly back. Again, the arms are going from the hip to the target. Almost in a heel-toe relationship with the right foot to the left foot. Rotate. Here we go. You want the, the passers to have a nice wide base. One problem we do get on occasion is our bases are too narrow. Therefore, our balance is not as efficient as it should probably be. So we're going to work on staying wide, keep the weight on the insides of our feet, on contact. Almost your knees should almost be pointed in a little bit. If your knees are pointing out, then the weight is on the outsides of your feet, and you don't want that. Rotate. Drop step. Drop step to the corner. Here we go. 
We're going to take a step and shuffle, but the first step's a drop step. Still working on our head discipline. Rotate. The drill series that we're doing right now, we do almost every day. And our passing training is actually before practice. If for about 45 minutes, we'll pass train from about 2.15 to 3 each day. You should be able to get to most spots on the court with the step and a shuffle. If, you, if you're in a two-player pattern, sometimes you have to step and double shuffle. And we work on those patterns as well. Three-player pattern, you should be able to get every, every place with a step and shuffle. Good. And rotate. Step and shuffle inside. Here we go. Still going on this side off the right hip. That side still going off the left hip to target. Rotate. Good. Nice head discipline, girls. Good job. Ideally, you want to keep the head still and the eyes on the arms, on contact, keeping your shoulders still. As you move for the ball, you want to make sure that the, the head and shoulders stay still. You don't want to see people bobbing, your passers bobbing up and down. Keep everything still. Rotate. Here we go. Rotate. Okay, drop step inside. Rotate, rotate. Take the ball off the left hip, Emily, each time. Left hip. Rotate, rotate. Let's go work the feet, guys. Move the feet. Create some space between you and that ball. Move the feet, Amanda. Good feet. Good job, Foxy. 